back to lesson 8. So we're in part 6. We have already the first method for the oblique triangle. So uh, we have already discussed the two methods uh, to solve the right triangle. So we have Pythagorean theorem and the trigonometric ratios. Now to solve for the oblique triangle, so not anymore a right triangle, we have the sine law and the cosine law. So in this lesson or in this video, we're going to discuss sine law. So what is the sine law or sometimes called the law of sine? So we have this given an oblique triangle. So when we say again oblique, it can either be uh, acute or obtuse. Okay. So we have this relationship here. So we have A over sine A equals B over sine B equals C over sine C or uh, the reciprocals we have sine A over A equals sine B over B equals sine C over C. Okay, so what does this mean? So it just states that the ratios, the ratio of the side and the sine, okay, the sine of the angles are all equal. So we have A over sine A, B over sine B, C over sine C. That's why this is called sine law. Okay, so when to use the sine law? Okay, so we're going to use sine law whenever we have these conditions here. So first, if there are two angles and one side. So the given are two angles and a side. Okay, so either we have SAS, side angle side, or uh, uh, angle, a uh, side side angle, as SA or, uh, yeah, okay, or B, we have two sides and a non included angle, okay, so non included it means that the angle is not part or it's not opposite of any side, non included angle, again non included angle it's not opposite of any side. For example, if we have, okay, so let's have the example. For example, for A, so two angles, so we have angle, uh, let's say angle, 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 then side. Okay, so we have here. Okay, so A, A are opposites with one another given, they're given. Okay, now for B, for example, for B, Okay, so let's erase. Example for B, we can have uh, two sides. So for example, two sides A and B. Then we have one angle. Okay, so one angle, or let's say we have here an angle. Oh, sorry, an included. So we have here C, not B, but C. Okay, so it's not opposite of any side. Okay, so that that is the sine law. Okay, so let's try. Let's try solving this. Uh, we have this triangle here. And obviously, this is an oblique triangle. Okay, so how do we know it's oblique? There are no 90 degrees. Okay, so we are asked to find the missing angle and the side. So what are the missing angle or what is the missing angle? The missing angle is B. We're going to look for B. We're also going to look for small letter B, the side B, and the side C. Okay, so we're going to look for this three. So, uh, technique. Technique, uh, how, how to find or how to determine. First, list down the elements. So we have A, B, and C. So let's have A, B, and C here also. So capital letter A is 77 degrees. Uh, B, capital letter B is unknown. Uh, capital letter C is 23 degrees. Okay. Then we have A. Small letter A is opposite of A. Opposite of A is 15. <clears throat> then B unknown, C is unknown. Okay, so it is sine law because if you try to observe, 
try to observe the uh, uh, change color. Try to observe the given. There is a pairing or a pair of angle and side given. So there is a pair. This is a pair. Capital letter A and small letter A are given pair. So we are sure whenever this this happens, we are sure that we're going to use sine law. However, if this does not happen, there are no pairings. Okay, so we are going to use cosine law, which will be discussed in the next video. Okay, so first find B. So how do we find B? Okay, so remember that the sum, the sum of the angles, internal angles of the triangle, is capital letter A plus B plus C, is always equal to 180 degrees. Okay, so in a Euclidean geometry, so we are the Euclidean geometry. So this is always true. The sum of the internal angles are always or it is always 180 degrees. So we are given 77 and 23 degrees and we are missing B. So to find B we simply have 180 degrees minus A minus C. And this will give us B equals 180 degrees minus our A is 77 degrees minus C which is 23 degrees. So B is, uh, let's use our calculator, 180 minus 77 minus 23. We have 80 degrees. Okay, so we have our angle B. Okay, so we were complete with angles. Next, let's solve for the sides. Okay, so we're given C equals 22 degrees. So we can solve for C, small letter C or the side C first. Okay, so how we use the law of sine. So we're looking for C. So we have C over sine C equals. So we're given the pair. So we're going to use the pair A over sine A. Okay. Then substitution. Using substitution. So we will have uh, C over sine of what is C capital letter. So 23 degrees equals A 15 over sine of what is A 77 degrees. Okay. So 77 degrees. Okay, then cross multiply. So this will give us C equals 15 sine of 23 degrees all over sine of 77 degrees. Okay, then using our calculator. So I'll just get the calculator first. Uh, it's here. So transfer. Okay, so here. Okay, so. Let's try to answer that. Use our calculator. So using our calculator, so it's in degree mode D. So 15 shift sine of 23, uh, sorry, 15 sine, sorry, 23 degrees over sine of 77 degrees. So this should be in the calculator. Then click equal sign. So you will see it's 6.01. Or 6.2 because uh, it's followed by 5. So C is 6.02. Right? C is 6.02. Okay, so we have now B and we have now C. So we're missing small letter B. Okay, so I'll erase, I'll erase for a while. Okay, so let's continue answering B. So for B, again, we can use sine law. We have B over sine B equals, so we're still going to use the given uh, for uh, uh, in solving sine law, always use the given. Okay, so we have A over sine B. Okay, so using uh, substitution, so this will give us, I'll just write it here. So we have B over sine of 80 degrees equals A is 15 
over sine of 77 degrees. Okay, 77 degrees. So, cross multiplication, this will give us B equals 15 sine of 80 degrees all over sine of uh, uh, sine of 77 degrees okay then let's use our calculator here so let's okay so let's erase so we have 15 sine of 80 all over sine of 77 so we have 15.16 okay so a a b sorry it's b uh 15.16 so b is 15.16 okay uh so that's the answer so we have Angle A, 77 degrees. Angle B, 80 degrees. Angle C, 23 degrees. And we have sides A, 15. Sides B, which is 15.16. And side C, which is 6.02. Now, let's have this example here. So, example number 2 for sine law. Find the missing side and angles. So, let's list down the given. So, we have A equals 42 degrees we have B so B is unknown and we have capital letter C which is also unknown how about A small letter A side A so we have 12 and we have B equals 15 C is unknown okay so obviously we have a pair so use sign law Okay, so let's try to look for capital letter B first. So, capital letter B, how do we find capital letter B? So, we have sine. So, instead of B over sine B, we will have sine B over B because we're trying to find the angle. Okay, equal. So, our given pair is sine A <coughs> over A. <coughs> okay, then. Substitute, so we have sine B over our B is 15 equals sine 42 degrees so all over B, which is 12. Uh, using cross multiplication, so we will have sine okay, B equals 15 sine of 42 degrees all over 12. Okay, so in this scenario, since we're using, we are trying to find B, an angle, so we're going to have B, so sine inverse, okay, so take note, it's inverse because we're trying to look for the angle, 15 sine of 42 degrees, just copy, over 12, whatever is here, then let's use our calculator. Where is the calculator? Here it is. Okay. So, again, we have arc sine. So, shift sine. <coughs> then we have 15 sine of 42. Close parenthesis. Then over 12. Arrow. Then close. Okay, so it should look like this in your calculator. Okay, then equals. So we have 56.76 degrees. 56.76 degrees. Okay, so let's write that one. Angle B is 56.76 degrees. I'll just erase this one. Then let's have our color. Change color. 56. Point seventy six degrees. Okay, then let's solve for uh, C, capital letter C. Okay, so using using our given same given. 
Okay, so uh, before before we solve, let's uh, erase this first. Okay, so solving for C. Look at our given. I'm oh, sorry, given. We have already the angles A and B. Okay, so uh, given two angles, you can always solve for the third angle by subtracting the two angles to 180 degrees. So minus A minus B. So this will give us 180 degrees minus 42 degrees minus 56.76 degrees. So C is, okay, using our calculator, I'll just use it here, 118 minus 42 minus 56.76 we have 81.24 degrees okay so we're done with capital letter C angle C so if we're done with angle C we can now proceed to side C so side C we're going to use law of sine or sine law so we have C over sine C equals <coughs> A over sine A then substitute we have C over sine of 81.24 degrees okay, equals A is 12 and we have sine of uh, 42 degrees okay then cross multiply cross multiply so we have C equals 12 sine of 81.24 degrees I'm uh, sorry 24 degrees all over sine of 42 degrees okay then let's get the calculator here here okay so we'll have uh, 12 sine of 81 Point twenty four all over sine of forty two. Again, uh, check if the mode is D here, degree mode. So it's degree mode, so no need to put a degree symbol. Uh, okay, so we have seventeen point seventy two. So C seventeen point seventy two. C side C is seventeen point seventy two. Uh, since we don't have the unit, so no need to put the unit. So we have already the final answers.